Hey, how's it going everyone? As you can see right in front of me, uh, today has been a good day. My care package from TVS finally arrived. Uh, I've actually had this on order for quite a while and all of the parts just became available and the entire thing shipped. So a quick story, uh, me and Elvin, we've been talking about long range flying for almost two years now. It's something that we're both passionate about, something that we both wanted to do. But um, in terms of quad technology, it's only within you know the last six months that things truly have gotten to the point where we, we really want to try it. And one of the things that we were talking about is, do you want to build your own or is there an RTF unit that's actually good enough for long range? And it's one of the things that I've always stressed is I always want something that's simple. And if I can buy something that's already you know ready put together and it's reliable, and it's backed by a quality manufacturer, then I would invest in that type of system. Here's a close-up look at the seven inch arms. As you can see, it's nicely soldered in there, so it's ready to go. It has this protective, I guess, plastic film to protect the wiring. There is a nice protective, and it's also good landing gear, I guess, uh, but there is a plastic piece right here to protect the arm when you're uh, on the ground, and of course, you have the endurance motors that uh, can support up to 6S and can also fly at 4S. Here is the Vendetta 2. I believe that they call it the Vendetta 2. Comes in a very small packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up. Vendetta time. All right, props. Props that I won't use. Oh, these were the extra arms. That's nice. These are the actual ones that go on with the motors already on there. TVS straps. Here are some motor nuts, some landing gear, wiring. Looks like these are the foam pieces uh, to go with a, a GoPro. Looks like these are straws for your receiver antennas. More straps. Triumph antenna, in case you uh, don't have an antenna you already want to use. Here is the main body to the Vendetta. Here are the, here's the bottom part, you can tell by the uh, MT30s for your motors to tap into. Nice little Team Black Sheep logo right there. Here is the camera, has a protector on it, and inside, you can tell there's the power cube, here's the XT60 cable, here's the entire uh, like PDB board over here. Uh, we're probably gonna have to break this open to uh, check it out. Right here is for your camera uh, adjustment, that's kinda nice. So a uh, very solid frame. Back here, there's uh, rubber bits, to keep your motor, or sorry, to keep your batteries in place. And here is the LED, it looks like this is an LED cover, but if you look inside, you can see the LEDs in the back. Here are the stickers to be able to cover up your motor wires. And then here are some extra stickers. Alrighty, on to the TBS Tango, which is gonna be your radio controller. Obviously, there are plenty of radio controllers out there, but it's nice to have one that works specifically for all the TBS stuff because I've heard that there's a, a high degree of integration with uh, the TBS gear when you get the Tango. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. A lot of people have some high praises of that, but I get to call this one my very own. There it is, there is the TBS controller. Sticks feels good. Clicky. Does feel like a video game controller, that's for sure. Uh, really nice. So right back here, this is where our module is going to be going. So can't wait to put that on. In here, of course, is a 5.8 patch antenna strap. Team Black Sheep. And these are the cables. Uh, charging, also go for your fat sharks. Very useful. All right, so in order to talk to our quad, of course we're gonna need a receiver. So this is the Crossfire V2. They actually have a smaller one, but like I didn't know about it. So this is the one I got and I'll stick with it. Should be small enough for my needs. 
Alrighty, the last box of the day, which is the Crossfire system. So we open it up, and this is what it looks like. This is one of those units where, like, every single time I turn around and look, it's always out of stock. So <laughs> they're kind of hard to get. Here is the module that will fit uh, onto the back of the radio controller. It slots right in, and then you connect these two. to your crossfire unit. So the crossfire unit is actually very slim. Has an LCD display and then of course a place to attach your antenna in the back. Here we go, more cables. Definitely a way to power this. And this was what, what I was looking for, the Immortal T antenna. Not sure what this board is, but uh, find out eventually. So that was a quick look at the TVS system. I'm really excited about trying it out, really learning the system. I definitely want to ping people at TVS to see what type of integration things that is in there and to really make the system great because I truly think that TVS actually makes one of the best long range systems out there. They have a historic past about supporting long range and I really do think that it translates over to the multi-copter and also, you know, what they're trying to do with long range with their Vendetta system. So hopefully, you'll come along and uh, watch this little journey. And hopefully, it has a good ending. Until next time, uh, we'll catch you on another episode.